Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As a uh, as expected. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? Okay, guys. So if you haven't heard, Sadoransky is gone. Yes, yes. The beloved San Antonio Spur, Thomas Sadoransky, is gone. Now. I don't have a lot of commentary on this whatsoever because I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Like prior to all of this, it was already kind of circling around that we were going to buy him out anyway. It wouldn't have made sense for us to hold on to him. It wouldn't have made sense for anything that the Spurs are trying to do. So what do I have to say about this? Is there any type of commentary to say over it? Not really other than yes, it was blatantly obvious this is going to happen. Um, but this could have been a situation where maybe the Spurs did take some time just to see, you know, just wait and see, you know, should this be a guy that we keep, um, you know, look at our other guards for a couple more weeks and make a decision. But I don't think that was the case. I feel like this was the plan all along. And similar to the Drogic situation, I didn't make a video on when we bought out Drogic because I said it when we traded him that we were going to buy him out. So it was very obvious that he wasn't going to stay here anyway. So that was like basically not news. But Sadoransky was a guy that quite a few fans, you know, scratch their heads on like, well, do we keep him? Are we going to keep him? You know, what what is the future for the Spurs look like? And even when you guys asked, I think it was on a couple Sundays with clans, like before maybe a couple weeks ago in which one of the questions was who do you keep and and who do you uh get rid of i think it was on you know i, I forget my brain is my brain is broken but I, I i don't know one of you guys asked me that and i basically said oh yeah sadoransky has gone like i would get rid of him in a heartbeat <laughs> and i would leave room for other guys that we can possibly get but with that being said look i mean it is a huge possibility that the spurs do invest a little bit in romeo langford um, and I could definitely see that being the case, but the Sedaransky situation, I didn't see this. I, I, I mean, I, I kind of saw this, saw this coming. Now I don't have a lot of commentary and usually videos aren't this short and I don't want to really cheat you guys out of content. So, um, to entertain you, I guess you want to see a dancing penguin. You do, don't you? All right. Well, let me show you a dancing penguin. I'm going to show you a dancing penguin for 10 seconds and, uh, hopefully that will suffice. There we go. All right. All right. You guys like this content? Yeah. Yeah, there's some real good content right here. Mm-hmm. All right. You don't feel cheated at all, do you? All right. Okay. All right. I hope that made your day. <laughs> I'll get with you guys later, man. Until next time. Deuces. <laughs>